Hello EOS Nation! This is the second video in our series on account creation. One which offers an intermediate difficulty to account creation. This option offers more flexibility in choosing an account name, as well as a higher level of account security. With this method, you'll be able to purchase an account using fiat, but will need to import your account keys into an EOS wallet client. The services we will be using to demonstrate this method in this video are EOS Name Service and EOS Account Creator. To explore EOS Name Service, you can easily search for it using a search engine or going directly to their webpage at eosnameservice.io. On the website, you can search for available and generated name suggestions using the search bar. By clicking search, the page will be populated with multiple names similar to your keywords which are available for purchase. Note that prices can vary wildly. If you intend to use this account casually, we recommend sticking with a simple 12 character name using letters A through Z and numbers 1 through 5. This will usually be the most affordable option. Once you have selected a name, you will be presented with PayPal and credit card payment options. The other option available is purchasing with other cryptocurrencies using your scattered wallet. We'll discuss this option in detail in our third video of the account creation series under advanced account creation. In this video, I'm using the PayPal option to make this purchase. Simply log in to your account and proceed with the payment. Once your payment is processed, you will be provided with a private key. Copy this to a secure location as we will need this to import into an EOS wallet later in this video. A second option to purchase an account is by searching for EOS account creator in a search engine or by visiting the service site directly at eos-account-creator.com. Here, you can create an account by entering a 12-digit account name or by simply clicking on the account name generator, I'm feeling lucky, for a pseudo-anonymous generated name. Once you have picked a name, click on continue. You will now be asked for an owner public key and active public key. If you have a Ledger hardware wallet, this option will also work well for you as you'd be able to sync it here. To generate keys, we will use the tools provided to us by EOS Authority. Go ahead and search in a new window for the EOS Authority key generator. Once you are in the official EOS Authority website, Follow the security recommendations to generate your keys. Properly store your keys off your computer and copy and paste your public key to the owner public key and active public key fields. We strongly recommend that you generate two different sets of keys, one public and one private key, which will control your account, owner public key and one public and a private key that will control your account, active public key. In this demonstration, you see that I have generated two pairs of keys and I'm pasting only the public keys into the requested fields. Once you have done this, go ahead and click continue. You will now be given two payment options, credit card or cryptocurrency. Now that you have completed an account purchase, it's time to import your private keys into a wallet client. In this example, we will be demonstrating the EOS Lynx desktop account and the popular Scatter Wallet. To download the EOS Lynx desktop wallet, search for or go directly to eoslynx.com and click on the download button. Once you have downloaded and installed the client, go ahead and open it. The first thing it will ask you is for you to import your private key. If you remember from before, you were given an option to have different keys for your account owner and active key. Here, you'll be using the account active private key. If you generated an account using the EOS name service, this option was unavailable. But you can easily modify this by using blocks.io wallet tools. To explore this option further, view our video tutorial on account permissions. Otherwise, your owner and active private key is the same. Once you have pasted and imported your private keys, EOS Lynx requires for you to add a six-digit numerical PIN which will be used by the client to confirm outgoing transactions. Pick a password or passcode that works best for you. Once you have confirmed your passcode, click Continue and you'll be taken to your EOS wallet. Initially, 
you will have no funds and no crypto assets will be shown, assuming this is your first wallet. If this is the case, you will need to transfer some EOS from an exchange account like Coinbase. You'll do this by sending funds directly to your account name. Once you have funds available, you may now view and transfer tokens from your wallet. Now let's import our key to the Scatter desktop wallet client. To download and install Scatter, go directly to get-scatter.com. Once downloaded, installed, and set up, go to your wallet tab and click Import Key. Import key pair in text. Now paste your private key. Scatter will then automatically import your account. Through this wallet, you'll be able to send and receive tokens from multiple blockchains, store multiple accounts, access decentralized applications and exchange funds from one crypto to another. We will be releasing a full review of the new Scatter desktop wallet soon exploring all of its features in details. Stay tuned for this walkthrough. Thank you for joining us today and if you have any questions please leave a comment below or message us on Telegram in our EOS Nation channel. Have a great day!